So we're on our way to Gross Morn today. That's what this show is all about. However, on our way, we're making a little stop in Cornerbrook. I actually think we're coming back to Cornerbrook as part of our I think so. itinerary. But we're headed to a brewery. <laughs> have a taster we didn't commit until we actually knew what it tasted like but it's very yummy here at broomstick brewing brian what did you get kolsch and how's the coal shot up just lovely and light and perfect awesome justin is in here so i'm gonna try his raspberry wheat beer because <laughs> that's what friends do this is the raspberry wheat by broomstick brewing That's a close second. Thank you. That would be um, that would be the beer I would get if it wasn't for the sour. Actually, I'm very content very tasty, with this. very content, very fresh. Cheers. Okay, so we came inside to Boomstick. I think Janet might have called it Broomstick <laughs> Brewing Company earlier, but it's actually Boomstick Brewing Company. Um, I believed her about the Broomstick. Anyways, Janet and I each got a flight, and um, my selection is uh, Pub Ale, um, Cali Common, Pack Out, Hewers Light, and Kolsch. I'm gonna go with Kolsch. Could you describe the flavor for me, please? Um, it has um, subtle um, hints of um, beer. <laughs> beer. <laughs> Hey guys, we are making our way to Tableland. So it's actually quite far from where we're camping. We're gonna have to backtrack about an hour to get back to the place we're camping. Gross Morn is huge and there's so many different trails to do. So we're up here, we're right outside, I think it's called Woody Point. Um, because I saw signs like that. There's a little town down there. We stopped at this incredible lookout. I'm gonna show you some of the views, but this is not going to do it justice. We just drove all the way around this bay. This is a bay coming in from the ocean. There's just mountains as far as you can see. Some are treed, some are very barren. And this absolutely gorgeous bay. Guess where we are? We made it to Gross Morn. So exciting. <laughs> and such a windy day. It's like crazy, crazy winds today. Well, we are at Tablelands. We've come here to do a hike. We're just doing this straight, linear 2K out and 2K back. Um, it's super windy here. I think possibly a lot of it has to do with these barren mountains. And we are in sort of a valley. Doesn't seem windy here right now, but wow, when we get out in the open, it's whipping, but basically Tablelands Park is? Well, from what we read, uh, 460 million years ago, two continents collided and the sea floor, um, the earth's crust rose to the top and that's what we're uh, hopefully gonna be seeing today. Well, I think that's what we're seeing right here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually like the, man or it's the mantle? It's the mantle, yeah. So this is the Earth's mantle and it's exposed. And there are other places on Earth and around here where you can see this. However, they do say this is one of the most accessible spots, um, easiest to see, and it's uh, 
pretty cool. It's very barren. It's like being on the moon almost with a little bit of vegetation down <laughs> here. Anyway, we're gonna see what else we can see. For sure. I don't know, from here it's just rock and rock and more rock. Tons of rock. But it wow. is spectacular. There is a beautiful little waterfall. The GoPro does probably doesn't pick it up, but very nice yeah. coming down the, uh, the mountain over there. Big gorge there. Getting to the end of the trail, finally, at Tablelands, and it was worth doing. It's definitely worth doing. It's not a challenging hike. It's a very easy hike, but uh, the views, the scenery um, are amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And we were just talking as we're coming back, all over here, this is all the barren Tablelands and the red rock, and it looks like Mars behind us. But then all you do is turn and look across over there, and it's like, completely full, lush forest lush green Crazy. mountain it's like this is just such an anomaly anyhow yeah so nice easy trail out and back it's really cool uh highly recommend super windy so make sure everything's tied down on yep. you <laughs> hang on to your kids hang on to your hat mm -hmm. so we're gonna go and uh we've got to drive back and get to our camping mm -hmm. spot get in gross morn so we'll see you there Morning, everybody. We had a great sleep in Gross Morn last night. There's a full fire ban on, so we weren't able to have a fire, but we're up bright and early this morning because we are heading on a, want to call it a 20, it's around 20 kilometers, 17 or 18 kilometer hike. Um, we're basically going straight up a mountain to see some epic views. There's a waterfall along the way, so we're getting up early and getting out of here so that we can start that hike. So we're gonna bring you along. How are you feeling, Jim? <laughs> feeling good so far. So there's two trails here. The approach trail, which is what we're on, and the summit. The summit is where we're headed. It's intense, it's hard, it's difficult. And there it is over there. Which one, Jim? The rocky barren. So we somehow, I guess, get around this guy over here. We hope it's not this one we're going up. So it's a, it's, it's a 17 kilometer hike with a thousand feet of elevation gain, I think. And yes. we've already went up 157 <laughs> meters. Okay, so 950 or 850 to go. Oh, did I say a thousand feet? Sorry, if I said a thousand feet, I meant a thousand meters. Oh, and we've only gone up what? 157 meters. Meters, correct. Okay. And we're just crossing our fingers that the view from the top will not have any clouds. So we can see the beautiful, beautiful view. All right, we'll catch you in a bit. First waterfall of the hike. So beautiful. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the mountain we're heading up. You can see the barren way back there. I don't even, I think I'm still pointing at the, anyway, you can't see it. There's a trail, we can see people on it. We are headed to the summit. Massive elevation gain ahead. Let's do it. All right, so we've started the steep incline, so there's no turning back now. You ready, Jen? I think she's ready. So I don't think the GoPro will do this justice, but we'll see if you can see where we're heading. Up that path right there. All right, Jen, what do you think so far? Well, it is very steep. You really have to watch where you're putting your feet. So you have to stop a lot to just look back and take in views because you get tunnel vision. But this is, this is uh, it's gonna be a challenge. 
Yeah, so, so far we're a little over five kilometers into the 17 uh, kilometer hike. And, and we're about to hit the 500 meters of... Of like straight like elevation. Yep. So. All right. Let's do it. Start to see the other vein. Oh yeah. So awesome. Right, so we're currently about half a kilometer um, from the top let's see we've hiked six and a half kilometers so far and our um, elevation gain is 632 meters and supposedly the last half kilometer I think we gained 180 meters of elevation so wish us luck okay so the last little bit is certainly the most challenging like you have to use your your hands, it's almost like four points of contact. Then you forget what's behind you. The Gross Morn Summit, 806 meters of elevation. How do you feel? I actually feel like I've been through a religious experience <laughs> because <laughs> Mitch and I definitely need to hike more and this is a very challenging trail and it's not over. I need to go enjoy the views because the last bit, there were moments where it was like, I might slip down off this hill and slide down with all the rocks. So it is amazing to be up here. We still haven't seen the other side. There looks like there's an amazing view over there. So I need to go see it. Guys, if you do this hike, just make sure when you're climbing, cause you're concentrated on the rock, stop and just turn around. The view changes like every couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. It's, and I wasn't joking. It really does feel like a religious experience. Like there's parts where you just regret your decision of doing this hike, at least um, <laughs> certainly people in our group and other groups, uh, you bond with other people on the trail yep. because you're both in a little bit of agony or fear <laughs> at certain points. And then you're like, we're gonna make it. Um, so, but worth every, every blister and storm also I'm gonna have because it's fantastic and I am excited to get to the epic viewpoint. So. Yeah. Sorry about the wind, it's picking up a little bit, but uh, check out these views. <laughs> folks we've made it to the epic viewpoint and let me tell you it did not disappoint well, well there's ex there's more than one epic viewpoint <laughs> up here but this is like i guess the ultimate epic viewpoint yep. we're halfway through the trail we're on top of the mountain we're looking out at the ocean we're looking at lakes we're looking at actually just untouched beautiful yep. newfoundland and it's spectacular but we still have eight and a half kilometers left to go we back. do we do <laughs> okay my feet are sore but we've had some food, we've had some water. Yep. Time for the uh, descent. We are going to descent. So we'll right. give you a little glimpse of what we're looking at and uh, catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Okay, so as we were crossing the top, we just had a chat here with her friends. We didn't realize, I said that we went through a religious experience. This is no joke. We were apparently climbing a 67% grade at the end with all the loose rock when we were coming up to the summit. So it's no joke, it's intense. You're basically crawling, you're using your hands. So I just wanted to let you know that. Fun fact by Jan. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn around and say, get the camera out. Like the views up here are spectacular. 
I don't love walking on rocks, so you're not gonna love this hike, but it is all worthwhile because it just changes. Like, I know we were just up there and we could see this, but it just looks different from this angle. This hike is beautiful and it's much easier now. I'm ready to go. Got pep in my step. <laughs> that because you have summited on this hike that the hardest part is over. It is, the hardest part is over, but it's not easy coming down. It takes you in this big loop. You get, it gets very exhausting walking on these rocks. It is worth it for sure. But man, they, uh, you earn the views. Absolutely. And we're just, we've been talking about it and feeling super grateful that um, we are doing this while we can and that we're, I mean, really in the, relatively speaking, one of the few people who get to see these views because I don't think a lot of people, relatively speaking, do this entire hike. So come do it, it's amazing. Okay, so this is just a little example of the descent and the uneven rock surfaces and all of that. It's uh, pretty crazy, but it was definitely worth it. What do we see, Jan? The beginning of the end of the trail <laughs> the last four kilometer well i think it starts around there we're at 12 and a half so we still have over four kilometers to go should be less than a k but it's almost a kilometer probably to the trailhead still maybe only half a all right let's do it girl but we can see it do it. The descent of Gross Morn is actually grueling, as they warn you. It was hot and slow going that day, and was two kilometers longer than we expected. So Mitch did not film me, since I was completely done. But he did get a shot of this lovely waterfall, and he did somehow convince me to film a wrap up at the end of the hike. Folks, we uh, just finished the hike. It uh, ended up being 19.2 kilometers. And we and, are we are spent. Yeah. Like wow. They say the backside is grueling, and when you start out, you think, well, no, like we're downhill. It's you know, it's not terrible. Yeah. That is a long, and the afternoon sun gets you over there. Yeah. So and of course it's unusually hot for Newfoundland. So yeah, it's 23. I'm, feels like 27 right now, and uh, we felt it all the way down the side of uh, the mountain. Yeah, feet hurt, uh, feeling a little sun cooked, and just need some more water and rest, and we'll yep. be back at it tomorrow. <laughs> but we are um, going to a brewery with our friends who did the hike with us in uh, Rocky Point. In Rocky Point, a well deserved pint. And don't get us wrong, like, oh my God, and you saw it, the views are stunning. Oh, this God. hike is totally worth it. But as much as we're so proud and happy that we did that, it's just gonna take me five minutes to get to that yes. super excited yes, point. Yes, exactly. I'm just tired exactly. right now. All right, Okay. till tomorrow. Cheers. Good morning, friends. Good morning. I am super stoked for today. I think we both are. Very much so. We are here at Gross Morn. We're at Western Brook Pond, and we are doing the iconic boat tour up the fjords to see the beautiful and iconic views that you see when you're in Gross Morn. We are not getting off to do the hike. That is something that is available to do, and we'll talk about that some more. But we are doing the two-hour boat ride. We're super excited. Already the views look amazing. Amazing, and we picked a great day. Um, it's going to be sunny. I think it's like 23 degrees, so perfect day for the tour. Alrighty. I think we might have to mic up for this, so yeah, maybe we'll do that and go get in line for the boat. Alright, let's go. Bye. would be to get here early to the front of the line so you get your pick of seats on the boat. Maybe a little earlier than we came. <laughs> Hi,
Hello. Hi, Blair. How Hello. are you? Great. Thank Excellent. you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Hello. Thanks very much. Aboard. Thank you. So we're on board. Seating is definitely limited. Um, upstairs, downstairs. There is some inside seating. I don't want to be inside. I don't think most people would unless it was cold and rainy. Um, so definitely get here a little bit early and For sure. take the time to stand in the line to get your favorite seat. We are standing here at the bow of the boat. Um, we asked, I did ask the gentleman if there was room at the front. He goes, you can stand at the bow if you want. So that's where we're at. No seats, we're standing. It's fine, it's two hours. Beautiful views. Yes. Perfect. the dock on the way back we had some nice Newfoundland music we got to learn to play the spoons well I wouldn't say learn we how to play the spoons he basically told, told me that I couldn't do it very well I was also told that that was not how he showed me <laughs> <laughs> well we were taught we just didn't learn well exactly <laughs> anyway we have a 3k hike back to the van it was so great I'm so happy we did that and the weather cooperated it was like a perfect little tour Absolutely, that is an 11 out of 10. Highly recommend that boat tour. Check the weather, um, definitely book your time and definitely get there early, but it really is spectacular and the people are great. The guides on the tour are fun. On the way back, we had music and we played spoons and I don't know, it was just a really good time. It and it actually has got me in the mood for a kitchen party. <laughs> what was the price per person? Um, so that was $79 per adult plus tax. Sorry, I do not have the prices for kids, uh, obviously youth and seniors. There's different prices, but get, that gives you a roundabout idea. Um, but absolutely excellent time. It's the iconic views, it's yep. the epic scenery, and it's, yeah, you have to experience yeah, it. It's it amazing. Awesome. So we hope you enjoyed our Gross Morn video, and there's still a lot more to come from Newfoundland. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make I, sure I you do. do. It, for sure. <laughs> Because right. we are not done this Newfoundland adventure. The next time you see us, you're going to see us in Cornerbrook. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.